The 3.0 update has been the final update for Super Mario Maker 2, or the final major update anyway. We're going to see some bug fixes, no doubt, because there's a lot of janky things happening with this update. One thing that got updated that's lesser known is the mushroom. You all know the super mushroom that we get for Mario 2. It is in the night theme, and when you jump, it jumps. Now with that, we can make a very accurate jump detector. Now Nabuzz has put it in a level. We're gonna show you the level, then at the end of the video, we're going to show you how to build it. It's really interesting, it's a bit complicated to set up, but once you can build it and put it into a level, then you're gonna have so much fun with these um, hitbox changes allowing you to make this. Let's dive into the level, Flip Switch Caverns. So as you can see there, we've got a normal switch blocks, and as soon as you try and jump, they disappear. Brilliant. Now what you will notice is, if you do little jumps, you're not going to break this switch. If you do big jumps, you try and do too many jumps in one go, it's going to recognise the jump every single time. It's a brilliant setup, and we're going to show you later on, so make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video. This level is really good how they've set it all up. You've just got to be a bit careful when you're doing your jumps. We can't jump straight onto that blue platform now. We've got to grab the vines. Real good use of the decoration. We went through the decoration in a previous video. You can see how it's it's really done simply. There's not too much on screen. They've used the vines, they've used semi-solids, and they've used the uh, mushroom platforms. And there's not really much else to it. Alright, so this is a bit of a, a tricky one now. We need to fall off here because the way that the uh, platforms were set up and we need to jump from this one. There we go. Now we're getting in the door. Alright, the difficulty is ramping up. We're on the third checkpoint. There we go. Jump across to this blue one. Jump down. You start to get into a rhythm when things are lining up perfectly. This is a bit tricky though, because we need to we need to jump onto the red and then we need to run onto the other red platform and then we need to do a big jump. I'll show you what I mean now. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh damn it. We were just a little bit quick there that time. I think we got a bit carried away. There we go. Straight over. Jump and jump into the door. Alright, the final section. A little bit trickier. Nothing that we can't handle. Uh, uh, spoilers here, I've already recorded this video once before. There we go, on there. And into the pipe. Awesome stuff. We get a glimpse at the end. You can see how the P-switch had stopped that from working. There we go. Right. To the top of the flagpole. Now on to the fun bit. Now we're going to build it. We're going to show you how to recreate that setup there. Alright, there you go. So we're in the build um, theme now. Now you've got to make sure that you're in Super Mario Bros. game style. You've got to make sure that you're in the nighttime theme and it's overground and that gives the mushroom the properties of jumping when you jump so you can only make it in this it's not going to limit you too much because you, you, you're going to create all sorts of different fun levels it's it's not going to limit you whatsoever so what you start off with is a steep slope and you make it so it's got two long edges like that now once you've done that you're going to put the note block right underneath the end of the slope now that you've done that, you can get the mushroom. Make sure that it's the Super Mario Bros. 2 mushroom. And you, oh, damn it. You don't want to put any properties to it. You just want the mushroom on its own. Now we get the Buzzy Beetle and we put that underneath the note block right there. This is going to be the Buzzy Beetle that's hitting the on-off switch. So we get the on-off switch and we're going to place that down and to the left of the 
Buzzy Beetle right there. Now every time this note block, every time this mushroom jumps, it's going to hit the note block. That's going to push the beetle down and hit the on off switch. We're going to use a semi solid here. We're using the mushroom platform. We're just going to put that out the way for now because there's something really interesting about that. And we'll show you later on the blue platform. You're going to want it to be, damn it. You're going to want it to be three tiles wide. And we're going to put that across there. So we're going to be covering the on off switch. Once we've got the on off switch in, we can get the semi solids in and that just overlaps there and then one next to it there. Now we're going to keep this sideways spring in the claw and that's going to go just to the top right of the note block. That's where you're going to put that there. Now, once you've done that, you can start getting some ground pieces in. Now you can see that I've got the ground piece selected as I've drew right there. Now we're going to put ground piece there and there. And the trouble is, if we put one there, it finishes off this curved or this slope section. So you don't want a ground piece there. You're going to use a breakable block. Once you've got that done, we can fill in these tiles here. And we're going to leave that one there. We're going to come around this side and we're going to fill in there, there. Now, this conveyor, this was used when they had the P-switch active that it stopped the, um, it stopped the switch from working and that's what they use that for so we're going to put that in and recreate it exactly like they showed we're going to just come down with the ground piece and we're going to block that off there we go so that's looking a lot more complete now so you've got a space here above the on off switch that we need to fill we've got space there which is good that's going to be where the mushroom goes now we're going to get the skull platform and put it on a curved track the reason it's on a curved track is so that it's in the center of four squares. You can see there that it's on the, the cross, right on the cross of four squares. And that is very important. So we're going to do this last because otherwise you have a terrible time of things snapping onto the platform. We're going to move that so the skull is right in the center. Now, this mushroom is going to sit on the skull. And if I just press play now, you can see it sits on the skull and it's already it's given a bit of a boost it's given a bit of a a sort of a bit of a help so there's no delay when you activate the switch now if we press if we press jump now you'll see it doesn't work like it did in the video so you can see now as soon as i press jump see how it hits the button twice which if you want that to work then great go for it but what you need is you need a semi-solid overlapping that note block. Now, if we press the button, it only happens once and you can jump as fast as you can and you're never gonna land before that mushroom resets, which is incredible. Now, if you don't want to bother with the P-switch or anything like that, you can literally do away with the bottom half of that contraption and you can see it hits the spring and works still works without that bottom half of the contraption there hope you've found this tutorial useful it's took me quite a while to get together and put everything right and record it a second time because I, I, mistakes were made so hope you've enjoyed it if you have share it with a friend share it with someone who could benefit from these building tips let me know down in the comments section if you've included this in a level and if you have please share the level code i'd love to see what you can make We'll see you again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.